Well, thank you for joining me on this Wednesday. I'm glad for the opportunity to share with you our subject that we're talking about this week, and that is how to live a satisfied life. So many people today are not satisfied in whatever they do, and there's reasons behind that because the Lord, through his word, shows us how, as a believer in Jesus Christ, we can be satisfied. Now, today, we go back to Mark chapter 8, and we pick up in verse 6 and 7. Jesus is feeding the thousands of people with the loaves and with the fishes. In verse 6, he said, And he commanded the people to sit down on the ground, and he took the seven loaves and gave thanks and break and gave to his disciples to set before them, and they did set them before the people. And they had a few small fishes, and he blessed and commanded to set them also before them. So they did eat. And we're filled. Now I want to stop there and I want you to see something that's so important today. And that is that if you're going to live a satisfied life, you have to choose all that are involved with you in producing this satisfaction. That's right. That's what I said. You choose the people who will be involved with you. Many times we lose out on the satisfaction of life because we do not choose the people who are involved in our circumstance and our situation. You just don't let anybody get involved. You don't tell everybody your situation, but you choose the people who you want to be involved in your circumstance, in your situation, and at the end of the day, you will be satisfied. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.